So there's uh, a big problem with how I see a lot of people going about, you know, self change, self development, whatever else. Um, so let's say like you have this thing, you have this goal or this person you want to be or this vision for your life and you just can't quite seem to get there. And I think the big ways that I've seen or read that, you know, you should approach this is one, either, oh, you got to change your beliefs, which is cool, but it doesn't really go into the process of how, or the second one is, oh, like positive, you got to stay in this realm of positivity and positive thinking. Um, which is also cool, but there's a reason that this negative thought or this thing that's trying to hold you back is there. It's it's trying to protect you. So if you're just thinking positive, thinking positive, and you're not like paying attention to the root or why this thing is coming up, you end up running in cycles of, oh, I'm trying to think positive, but I can't act positive. So this is the two steps um, or three steps to getting past that and actually starting to put it together so you can move in the direction you want. The first step is you have to become aware of not only the thoughts. So this is where I got struck up. I had become aware of the thoughts that were going through my brain that were holding me back, but I wasn't aware of what was happening in my body, right? So there's certain times where your thoughts may not, you know, your brain will be like, oh shoot, he's aware of these. I'm not gonna send him through here, but I'm gonna hold that same tightness or closed offness in my body that kind of send the same signals, right? And when your body's in this, there's the same, um, you know, there's chemicals and things that come up in your body that signal you to feel the same way. For me, anytime I would try to do something new or scary or scary, or, you know, that was a step towards what I wanted, I would get really tired, I would get really fatigued, I would get brain fog. And that was my body sending these chemicals throughout my body so that I had to stay safe. So what you first need to do is become aware of that. When you're going through and like you feel yourself getting anxious or getting tight or you know you take a step in the right direction and you're like wow there's this really positive thing that's happening but i still kind of like in here feel like shit. that's an amazing first step is just being aware of that so throughout the day you know like if you're doing something and all of a sudden you're like whoa like my eyebrows are are raising up and my chest is caving in and i'm, I'm feeling tightness um just acknowledge it first right that's the first piece. The second piece is how would I want to act in this situation or how wouldn't I want to act in this situation? Uh, humans are very negative, safety-based creatures. So starting with the negative makes it so it's a little bit easier to you know get tangible on things. So hey, like how would I want to act in this situation? Okay, right now I'm tight. How wouldn't I want to act? I, I wouldn't want to be tight. I, I wouldn't want to you know, be afraid of this thing. I, I wouldn't want to like kind of cower away from it. Um, and just kind of like getting very tangible on that helps with the third one, which is the most powerful of it all. And it's because it gives you a choice and you go, okay, with that in mind, how would I want to act in this situation? It's the most powerful thing that I've done recently. It's just giving myself that three-step framework. Oh shoot, I feel this thing. You know, I either see these thoughts going by or I feel this thing in my body. Whoa, okay, cool. Hey, no need to freak out anymore. I'm all right right now. How wouldn't I want to respond in this situation? Bow, list it, probably stuff I'm doing right now. Second, how would I want to respond? Get some clarity on that. And then just allow yourself the choice to step into that. So what we do is we're not just positive focusing, wah, wah. We're not just addressing the thoughts only, we're also addressing how it manifests in our body and in our nervous system, which is one of the biggest things we're actually gonna to start to make long-term change on these things, right? So the next time it happens, I feel it, how would I want to act, how would I want to act, and then allow yourself to open up and to feel that both in your brain, through your thoughts, and in your body, and after doing it over and over and over and over, very short three questions, it'll start to change the way that your body sends signals um, when certain events happen, which then make changing the thoughts that you have around this situation easier. Last one, for my people that are still here watching it, very tangible example. Um, for me, I tend to immediately go to guilt or shame, right? Doesn't matter what I'm doing. I let somebody down, I'm guilty, I didn't do well enough, I'm shame. Stupid example, but tangible, is on Monday, I you know, tried to do a new high on my bench press, keeping it in fitness, and, um, and I couldn't hit it. I didn't hit it, and I like, immediately felt this wave of everything from my childhood. Oh, you didn't do well enough. Oh, you didn't live up to the standard. It was very painful, right? And I felt this wave, not in my thoughts, 
but in my body, I wasn't thinking anything, but my body was shutting down and going into that familiar feeling. And I first had to go, wait, like I feel this thing happening, what's going on? How wouldn't I wanna act? I no longer wanna fall into shame, into guilt, into these things that feel very comfortable and I'm used to, but they don't really serve or match the situations that I'm in anymore. All right, cool, I don't wanna do that. That is cleared out, so now I have space for something else. What do I wanna put in that space? Who do I wanna be in this situation? And I chose to be someone who is just very happy and very proud of how far I've come, of all the strength that I've gathered over these years, of just being able to just move my body in general. And it completely shifted, like I, it was crazy. It felt like a very freeing experience because it completely shifted what I was used to, the shame, this guilt, this not enoughness. And it gave me the power and the options and the autonomy to go, hey, like you actually can step into this new reality, which is more close to what you wanna be. So, all right, wrapping all that up, if you're still here, big three things, notice them throughout the rest of this week. What is happening in my body? What feels tight? What is the feelings that are constantly coming up when I get angry, when I get sad, when I'm, you know, whatever else it may be? How wouldn't I wanna act in this situation? Clear out the space. How would I, what would I wanna put back into that space now that I've cleared out what I wouldn't want? All right. Go on, live happier lives. I'm out.